we've been advancing knowledge and transforming lives since our founding in 1855. The idea of a land-grant university was to assure that cutting-edge scholarship, the best scholarship in the world, was relevant to society and available more broadly so that people throughout the world could in fact use that cutting edge knowledge in their own way to solve the world's wicked problems. But also along with this idea of a problem, it's important to understand that part of the role of scholarship is to illuminate uh, an understanding of humanity, a sense of self and being, not simply a sense of atoms and land. And it's the capacity to blend this sense of humanities, social behavioral sciences, with the very basic research that happens in the laboratory that is the essence of a land-grant spirit. It's not one or the other, one's not more important than the other, it's the combination of all of those that has animated Michigan State University for many, many years. Obviously, the university is an engine of economic development through the various resources that we bring to a community. Uh, with our grant and contract activity approaching $500 million, the multiplier of that is significant in the economic impact within our community, within our state. And that equates to jobs uh, in both directly at Michigan State, but also in the nearby communities. The FRIB project, the facility for rare isotope beams, will obviously be an important economic engine of growth as we move forward. We're really pleased that we passed uh, with flying colors what's called CD1, which gives us the opportunity to uh, make long lead purchases and continue the development of a project that will be completed in 2017-2018. If you look at the work at Michigan State and all of the wicked problems of the world, on food, food safety, environment, education, community development, communication, uh, the difficult engineering problems, robotics, nanotechnology, the, re the revitalization of the automobile industry, the list simply goes on and on. Michigan State University has research programs that match all of those wicked problems. But that work, that work is so important because it also reflects our commitment to to being one of those knowledge magnets for a 21st century knowledge economy and helping to make Michigan and the area, the greater Lansing area, that kind of knowledge magnet that will be on the list necessary for economic and cultural success. It's one thing to have an important discovery, but that important discovery has to be done in the right way with consideration not only for the ethics of science, but for all the individuals involved in the work. Uh, for human subject protection, the role that animals play in research, the role in which we together have to hold ourselves accountable for the quality of research and, its, and the conduct uh, of research in a manner that meets the highest standards of integrity. It's easy to think about economic uh, difficulties and translate that into jobs, but there's a lot to be learned through literature and the arts that reflects the the meaning behind some of the struggles that we're undertaking and also provides a historical context about others may have uh, successfully dealt with those struggles. We're really pleased that the, C the Cultural Engagement Council's Year of Arts and Culture has continued to reflect on the role of workers and the struggles of workers and families uh, in Michigan during e difficult economic times to draw both solace as well as understanding and hope from uh, the readings that are more typically defined in arts and culture. And I, I underscore cultural success because every book written about the 21st century and what it's going to take to be vital and relevant as a community and as a state, as a nation, has a part of that arts and humanities. The capacity to have within your community great music, great art and access to the kind of innovation and creativity that's reflected by the melding and blending of arts and humanities and science, and an entrepreneurial spirit that's always been part of the land-grant university. That's why we're so pleased that progress is continuing on the Eli and Edith Broad Art Museum. And it's going to be a destination, because the architect is one of the world's leading architects. 
the work of the Wharton Center not simply in Lansing, in Greater Lansing area, but in Grand Rapids and, and Traverse City, reflecting our land grant commitment to assure that music, the performing arts, are part of the experience of this state in a way that causes it to be a magnet to attract people and retain people who want to be a part of, an ex again, this exciting, dynamic culture. When we think about graduate education, we think about this special partnership in developing the next generation of scholars, individuals who will be the faculty of the 21st century, who will work in this global knowledge economy, but will also work in a variety of roles as, as doctors and lawyers and individuals with master's degrees in actuarial science, just all those professional master's degrees that are so critical for economic competitiveness and our quality of life. And we're so proud that Michigan State University has been recognized uh, nationally for our work across disciplines and across professions. Because we know that for the 21st century, interdisciplinary work is going to be extraordinarily important. But, but as important, Michigan State University has spent uh, a good deal of time and effort through the work of the Vice President for Research and Graduate Study and the Dean of the Graduate School to assure that the environment for graduate students and their learning is first rate. The graduate students play an, a, a very, very important role in undergraduate education and in helping us create the learning environment for undergraduate students. They also are key partners with faculty in our research efforts, our outreach and engagement efforts that define the reputation of Michigan State University and indeed the reputation of individual faculty members. We want to also recognize if you look at the numbers uh, associated with graduate education at Michigan State, the significant increases in graduate professional enrollment. The opportunities provided by the expansion of the College of Osteopathic Medicine in Southeast Michigan and the College of Human Medicine with its new headquarters in Grand Rapids means that we've doubled the number of graduate professional students uh, in both of those colleges and those are now reflected in our numbers. MSU has one of the most comprehensive sets of programs for graduate student and postdoctoral student career success of any major university. Our nationally recognized career and professional development program has launched a new and unique in the nation website to help interactive career planning so that students understand the various opportunities that are available to them not only in academia but in the private sector to use their PhD, their master's degrees in new and innovative ways. It's important for Michigan State University to be among the best in the nation on our completion rates for PhD programs and then have the best career and placement efforts so that our students are seeing the value of their MSU degree in their first job after graduate education as well as throughout their entire career. Part of the data uh, and the value of those data are the way in which we use them for continuous quality improvement. How we can look at our, our institution, our programs, and not only celebrate a ranking, uh, for example, the ranking of the nuclear physics program, but we can also then use those data to improve the experiences at Michigan State University. And graduate education, the data from the NRC are simply another mechanism to be used to celebrate not only rankings, but also the ways in which we can be better tomorrow. During difficult economic times, it's easy to be trapped in the moment and be trapped in thinking about what we don't have. But the solutions, the way in which we have a better pathway, not just for ourselves, but for others, for our state, for our community, for our world, is to tap into our imagination. Because failure to imagine is not an option in difficult times. And by tapping into the university's knowledge, creativity, and energy, we generate a, poss a world of possibilities. Those possibilities are not always well known from one year to the next, but we know that the possibilities exist. And it's through th the creativity, imagination, and hard work, and the commitment to land grant values that Michigan State University is making a difference here in Michigan and around the world.